Let's now take a look at example 2. Jane is helping to set up 15 tables for the Healthy Lifestyle exhibition in her school. Each table can only have one exhibit on each side. Jane arranges the tables together so that they form one long table. How many exhibits can be shown all together? In this question, well, although there are many, many uh, words here, but what we need to do is actually we look for a pattern. This is what we can do to get the answer. We use shapes to help us. Let a circle be an exhibit and a rectangle be a table. So first of all, we have one table with four exhibits. Remember, it's one at each side, right? Now, if there are two tables, we realize that we have to... We can't put a, uh, an exhibit in the middle because it will be blocked. So, for two tables, we will have actually six exhibits. What about three tables? In three tables, we will have eight exhibits. Therefore, we can come up with a table all right, that shows the connection. Number of tables, if there's one table, we can have four exhibits. Two tables, we have six exhibits. Three tables, we have eight exhibits. Now, what can you tell from the pattern 468? It is actually duplicates, right? It's actually uh, doubles. The doubles, uh, sorry, uh, two times table. All right, so we have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, and 32. Therefore, we know that if there are uh, 15 tables, there will be 32 exhibits. That's how simple this question is. Okay? By looking for a pattern and then putting it in a table to represent.